So this is a brutal gauntlet of highly constrained set piece fights where uh, space is at a premium and you have to move very efficiently and decisively in order to not die. The, the structure is um, basically this, this um, L-shaped room is the heart of the map and there's three, three separate uh, key areas essentially that you go to from here and each one has its own nasty fight which makes it seem like sort of an open style of map, but it's really quite constrained. There's uh, only one choice you get in which order to do things, and you really only have one choice there anyway, so it's like, whatever. I really like the music. It, it sounds like something from Super Metroid. It's not, though. So this fight is quite difficult. The first phase is really just letting you know what you're up against. You can quick kill the arch file very consistently. But as soon as the closets will open and dump two more arch files back there, even more Hell Knights. There's different ways to approach things if you want to, like, uh, you know, go for that Megasphere early or wait till later. It's dangerous to wait, but um, I really value the opportunity to keep doing damage you know, to the early uh, Hell Knights. You can almost entirely kill them before Phase 2 starts, which helps a lot in uh, allowing the arch files to uh, approach you not get blocked off and whatnot. It's just uh, an extremely uh, constrained and intense uh, fight. But the problem with it is, is right here, where like, as long as the arch files are alive, it's, it's really dangerous and really high pressure. As soon as the arch files are dead, there's essentially no more risk, and it's just uh, a matter of cleaning. Kind of unfortunate, but you know, you have to deal with this boring bit. I'm not really sure how he could have avoided it. It's worth noting that the uh, central pillar, it offers cover from the arch files, but if uh, if both you and the vial is on the, the highest level, then the, the pillar itself is low enough that it won't block you, only the corners will. So you have to place yourself carefully or get in close to the pillar, which might be impossible with Hell Knights. It's just... Uh, this, this, everything about the shape of this room is very intentionally designed. It's, it's really a good fight. So, it didn't go that well. I consider surviving with a hundred or so armor to be pretty decent. This next fight is even worse, honestly. So, just because there's so little space, you want to kill the, uh, as many revenants as possible with the rocket launcher. And then, grab the, grab the BFG, Take the two shots that you get with it. Make sure you kill the Baron, because otherwise you're just not going to be able to kill him fast enough with anything but the BFG to not run out of space. Um, if you're lucky, you should be able to have enough space to use the rocket launcher to give yourself space. But take care, it's like this this fight, it's in such close quarters that it's like you go right from not having enough space to survive to having no one left to distract the the cyber demon for, with for you. So, you know, like I did there, if if you get the opportunity, you can um, butt blast him while he's shooting someone else. If not, I recommend using the, the super shotgun to finish him off, because it's very dangerous to try to regular style BFG bump in those close quarters with a bunch of weird uh, outlying, you know, columns and whatnot. Getting behind myself here. So this here, once you hit the switch, revenants start trickling in from outside. You might think that similar to the blue key fight in map 9, or red key, I think, you can uh, shotgun fight them inside the pillars. It really doesn't work. I recommend just uh, spending some cells and busting out immediately. It's almost, it's very difficult to get away without any damage. I had a bit of bad luck there that the ball itself missed and delayed the blast. But uh, if you do that, it's, it's pretty survivable. This next bit is, is uh, the most annoying part of the map, in my opinion. It's not difficult, it's just if you fall off the columns, it's hurt floor down there, and it's difficult to get back up. It's really annoying. I think the intention with this arch file is that you drop into the room and quick kill him with the rocket launcher. 
it, but that's always something of a gamble, so you can uh, kind of cheese it like this. So this next fight, when you hit the switch, you get a huge mass of demons backed up by uh, Hell Knights and a Cyber Demon. Um, and also uh, a peanut gallery along the wall shooting at you. So you want to keep constantly in motion so as to avoid all the projectiles. And also keep constant rocket fire going in the doorway. If the demons manage to breach the barrier, it, it gets really nasty. You have to use the BFG to, to get control again. Like when they're going through that narrow aperture, you get a lot more efficiency out of their rocket launcher. Um, this is kind of unfortunate. The uh, Cyber Demon is coming in a lot earlier than usual, which not only is directly dangerous, but also it means that he uh, has killed a lot fewer enemies than he usually does in this round. So, this is kind of awkward. Of course, he used the BFG to escape. But overall, this, uh, this didn't go too badly. Kind of rough in terms of ammo, but quite good in terms of health. I'm out of rockets, unfortunately, which would be the preferred thing to take out these revenants. I don't want to waste another BFG shot on them, since uh, the BFG is so critical for the next part. But I also don't want to waste health here. So, I mean, it is what it is. It bugs me to leave these assholes in here unkilled, but there's no, uh, there's no need to do it. Kind of awkward steps, maybe intended to keep you from just rushing out of here. Although it seems like the revenants would do that all right. Grabbing the yellow key opens up that uh, pillar which with the uh, teleporter back to the main area. But if you'll notice, there's one kind of square where the rock is a different color and you can get some extra selves, which is nice. So this is the, uh, the big main L room. Uh, you can hit the other switch to open the, the final key area. You could have done these two things in any order, uh, blue before yellow. But you really want to do yellow first, just because you want as many cells as possible coming into this area, because it is just a very, very nasty fight. Those uh, square projections on the on the walls, they're monster closets, and revenants just come boiling out. More than can fit, they teleport. Um, this is very hard. This is the place I died most. So the biggest mistake you can make here is uh, letting your finger off the BFG trigger. This is no time to be stingy. Spend some cells. At this point, you shouldn't die. Like, the worst is over. But anything can happen out there. This is a horseshoe-shaped room. So, you know, monsters that are on the other side tend to cluster at the end of their horseshoe. But, you know, since they can't pathfind. But they'll percolate out, and uh, even a few revenants is dangerous here because of the awkwardness of the space. You only get those narrow columns to, you know, block rockets on. That would have been a terrible time to die, and it certainly could have happened with three revenants. If you're lucky, it's possible for the revenants to, you know, punch, unlock the cyber demon to death. And then they're usually pretty easy to take out, because there aren't going to be that many of them. But more often than not, you have to, uh, the cyber demon wins, and then you have to go kill them. You can do it with the, uh, with the shotgun or the BFG. I have it mapped out, like I think right now I'm doing the math in my head. And I can, uh, I can get the BFG down to 100 ammo, and it's totally fine, it's free. So I do. I'll be back up to 600 before the final fight, which is very, very nasty. I'm kind of stupid. I don't like it. I actually died there twice before recording this run. It made me really angry, especially the second time.
I mean, given the, the nature of the setup, it's pretty obvious that something bad happens here. But I mean, even so, it's like, fuck you, have a cyber demon. Fuck you, have another cyber demon. Pretty annoying. But with the, the sole exception of that last encounter, just a really freaking cool map. Really well designed. Really hard, but uh, totally worth it.